Welcome to the Freedom Property Podcast, the modern real estate brand empowering excellence. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. It's the Freedom Property Podcast show. I have got the rising star himself, <gasps> Mr. Moses Nguyen. Nguyen. Josh. Nguyen. Yes, Nguyen. N-G-U-Y-E-N. That's it. Nguyen. There we go. In the house today. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Josh. Thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure. Legend. Oh, my goodness. Bro, it's so good to um, be around someone like yourself. You've got such good energy. Thank you. Um, really enjoying watching your amazing career explode. Two minutes worth. Yeah. Because you, know? you haven't been doing this for too long. No. twenty End of 2020, I think I went through a rough patch, depression, anxiety for two years. You hit the you hit the slumps. Made the move, jumped on with someone for a year. Dakota Ferguson um, did a year with him. Come out of the gate, we had a good market as well. Yep. Um, did a million and twenty one first year, and then now just trying to chase that two. Nice, bro. You'll Trying get it. it yeah. You'll get it. It's crazy. It's crazy numbers, eh? Crazy oh. numbers. How old are you? Just turned thirty. Nice, bro. That, uh, when was it? Two weeks ago. Yeah, legend. Three, eh? Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. Yeah, it's um, it's awesome to watch this business of yours um, explode at the moment because, um, you know, like you do things a little bit differently, in my opinion. Like, you're, like you're quite a you're quite a cool character. Thank you. You know, like I don't know, if, like if you if you're watching this, listening to this, and you haven't uh, checked Moses out on like Instagram or whatever, you got to follow him um, because you just do it a little bit different. Like yeah. you, you're like you like when I see your stuff, I'm like, yeah, he's cool. Thank you, thanks, Josh. You know what I mean? I think I think I just I'm just being myself. Yeah, so nice. it's a nice blend of normal real estate, which will never change, then a blend of personality as well. Yeah, so, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So um, let's talk about your business. So why are you so successful, bro? What sets you apart? Oh, what sets me apart? I think work hard. Um, when I get an opportunity, yeah. We close it straight away. Nice. Right? What's for dinner? Because I'll be there after dinner with dessert. Absolutely. Right? Eh? So Absolutely. Um, <laughs> speed. I think speed's a big one. Um, being able to generate a lot of uh, momentum and leveraging off sales. Yep. But I'd say hard work, good energy. Yeah. And that you've got to trust the person that is going to sell your property. So nice. it's building good relationships. Sick, bro. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You, do you have like a core area or are you just like getting yeah, like wherever so, you can? Or? Yeah. So when I started, um, uh, me, when I was with my lead agent, Dakota Ferguson at the time, we sold a property there and then it was my time to get my own. I door knocked that street, um, got 17 appraisals. I'd literally be at the front door. Um, I'm here now. I can give you an appraisal right now. So take the shoes off, walk into the appraisal. Nice, nice. Picked up a listing um, two weeks after I did the door knock, sold one in that street, and then I picked up another one. And then, yeah, so Collingwood Park's become my little my little home. It's like yeah. playing a home game. Awesome. In Collingwood Park, yeah. Nice, so. bro, nice. And that's how you got your success, was it, through door knocking? Yeah, uh, when starting, yes, yep. door knocking. Um, another one was Facebook Messenger. True. Right? If you were my friend on Facebook, Josh, yep. you would get a spare message. Nice. Right? Hey, Josh, hope you've been well. Haven't seen you for a while. Just want to let you know I'm in real estate. If you're looking yeah. to buy or sell, yeah. getting property rated, let me know. Absolutely. I know Facebook, when you hit 50, it classifies it as spam. Okay. So you've got to wait till the next day before you can prospect another 50. So yeah. that's for the new guys. If you're looking to start out. Seriously. Well, these Facebook people are already job. following you. You yeah. know, like they, they already know who you are. So yeah, they're it's, all like, yeah, that's your database already. It is. Isn't it? it honestly is. You get a lot of um, opportunities, right? In Instagram, Facebook, social media, because people see, oh, my mum lives on that street. Yeah. Oh, my mum lives in the suburb. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lady at um, in the Redland City. She yep. works at um, LJ Hooker. Her name's Naira Ewings. Yeah. And she's really good at that sort of stuff on, yep. like, Facebook. She will, yep. like, at night time, she'll write things like, oh, it's, um, you know, this song's come on. You know, what's your favourite song? Yep. Or something like, I yeah, don't yeah, know, yeah, something yeah, yeah. Get, yes. get catchy yep. like that. You know, not exactly that. But, yep. um, and then you get heaps of responses and like heaps of comments yep. on it and stuff. Yep. And, um, you know, like your socials, like if you can get that interaction and then you launch that property. Yes. Like. Yep. I think it's important. A lot of, a lot of your potential buyers and sellers, they're all on social, mm. Right. A lot of them don't want to reach out to you directly, but they yeah. might indirectly reply to your story. Yeah. They might make a comment and then you build that relationship through social. So I think that is a good tool yeah, as well. Yeah, that's so, awesome, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. So um, 
Yeah, what would you? What would your advice be right now for someone that's like trying to get this thing rolling? So they've been in real estate for a couple of years. Yep. They sort of know what they're doing. Yep. They haven't had huge success yet, but it's coming. You know, like, yes. but how can they fast track this thing? Post on social media every day. Number yeah. two, show your personality. Nice. People sell with people. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day. They sell with people. They want to know that, hey, I'm selling with Josh. Yeah. I want to know exactly who I'm selling with. Yeah. Um, number two, just being active in the marketplace, mm-hmm. right? If if I was on, once again, going back to social media, if I haven't posted for six days or 14 days or 21 days, am I active? Yeah. Nice. You're not active, yeah. right? So it's like when you go to the gym, if you don't take a photo at the gym, I'm obviously speaking because I'm in a different era, right? Did you really go to the gym? Yeah. Right? So I think- um, for the new guy starting out, you've got to be active on social media. Yeah. Right. Um, and providing engaging content. Yeah. Nice. So it gives them the opportunity to reply, yeah. message, et cetera, et cetera. Do you run your own socials? I do. Yeah. Okay. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. I edit my own videos. I choose my own songs. Yeah. But the beautiful thing about that is, right, you're choosing a song that you want to choose. Yeah, nice. You're editing the video how you want to brand yourself. Yeah. So I think it's all part of it as well. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. So you um you won uh, Rising Star last year. Yes. How good's that? It's very good. Yeah. I don't know how I did it, but yeah, we got it. That's awesome, bro. It's yeah. so, so good. The um did that like change your business, do you think? Um yes and no. I think when you go into the door and you make the comments of like, yeah, look, you know, I was fortunate enough to be honored to win the rising star for Queensland, um, it gives you a bit of credibility. It's like, yeah. okay, this guy must be all right. Yeah. Um, but at the same token, it does put a lot of pressure on you yeah. to then, you know, keep yeah. climbing that ladder and, you know, continue to do even better. So you feel a bit of pressure? I do, 100%. Yeah. I have to write $2 million this year. That's okay. the goal, write yeah. $2 million. Yeah. Um, did a million first year. To do two, it's, it's a big task, but- Yep. I'm now learning how to grow a team and building Absolutely. associates and whatnot. So yeah. a couple yeah, steps you, behind you, Josh. Well, you're just going to need the people to do it, you know, like yep. it's, um, yeah, because to to attract the bigger numbers and to do these big numbers, you're yep. going to need people in their roles, okay. you know. You're going to need buyer managers. You're going to need people to answer your phone, handle the inquiry. Yep. You're going to need someone to do the contracts because there's going to be a lot of this stuff coming in. Yep. So you don't want to be touching any admin. I've like, got a couple of questions for you, Josh. So when you got to a stage where – I am now today. Yep. One of the things that I've trying to come to terms with is letting go mm-hmm. of trusting my team and trusting that they'll do, you know, just as good a job as you. How did you come to that stage of letting go? Well, you've got to you've got to put the systems in play first. Okay. So you need the workflow yep. because it's impossible for them to fuck it up if yep. there's a workflow. Yep. And then at every point of the workflow, there's a, you know instructions on how to do that. Yep. Um, so what I want to see is that on that. Um, uh, listing, the workflow has been all ticked off. Okay. So I don't need to like check in with them and see, make sure everything's done right. I can just go to the Excel spreadsheet and yep. I can see that everything is is passed. Gotcha. You okay. know, same yep. with listing, same with under contract, same with settlement, every single part of the procedure, everybody knows their roles and it goes through and then they do what they need to do. Internally, how did you do it within you? Yeah. Well, like because I knew uh, I had this system set up, yep. it was it was like it's a bit of a no brainer. It's okay. like put them in yep. and let them follow the thing, and if they fuck up along the way, yep. and I'm like, well, why did you miss that step? It's clear that that's there. Yep. Um, don't do it again. Okay. Um, I want you to get this right, and yep. I've even like done a video on how to do that. Yep. You know, like so they never should have to ask me questions. Yeah. It's like watch that video, and then you can do that part. Yeah. So you know, like. I think it's it's more your planning. Yes. Like I like I used to be exactly the same. Like yeah. gung ho. I'm like bum, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. You <laughs> That's know, like, literally me right now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm still sort yeah. of like that. Yeah. But my business partner behind the scenes, Randall, yep. he's um yeah, he's a systems guy. He's a, you know, slow down. And my Mrs. Tanya, she's exactly the same. They're planners, you yep. know, and this is what they do. They're like thinkers and planners. Yeah. And whereas I'm just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> You know, but you have to at some point because you know your business better than anyone else. So you know how you want things to be run. Yep. So you got to put the systems in play first okay. and then you get the right people to run that system and everything's going to run clockwork for you. Yep. And then you're going to go to the next level again. Yeah. Um, but it's that then systems that's what's going to okay. change it for you. So systems in place. Yeah, absolutely. But I think internally it's hard to yeah. 
Yeah. I just want to make that call. Yeah, but it's the same thing. Like your seller doesn't expect you to do certain things. Yep. And I think you can make yourself look more professional yep. if you've got someone in that role. Gotcha. You see what I mean? Because that's that person that does that. Like I'm not going to be chasing down like, you know, putting a listing up and all that sort of jazz. I'm not going to be the one running the contract, like doing that contract part. I'll negotiate it all, but I'm not going to do the actual contract part. Yep. You know, I'm just staying where you want me to stay, which yep. is in front of your buyer, in front of your seller. Yeah. And you're finding like you're, you're getting caught up a bit. Like, yes. yeah. 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 100%. Okay. Yeah. We just got to, you just got to get the right people. Yeah. You know, and you got to get the right people involved to, to run those parts of your business. But, you know, so is that, is that something that you're struggling with right now? Is I wouldn't that- say that I'm struggling with it. It's just, I would like to think that, you know, when you're listing a property to the market, it's like you've done the order of the photos. You've had a, you know, you've added a few cool words into the ad text that mm. reflects or, is an extension of you. Yeah. Um, but it, I think it's, yeah, it's just. I think you can still do that. Yeah. Like um, like once the listing and everything is is a, is all put together, yep. that's when Moses comes in before we send it to the seller. Yeah. Move that photo there, yep. write that here, change that. Yeah. They're done. Yeah. Get the hell okay. out Okay. All right. There you go, guys. Josh has said it first. <laughs> no, We're it. heading to Mel this year now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but you need to be staying in your lane. You don't yep. need to be having a seller ring you and say, oh, I didn't like the photo order of this or yep. what? Yeah. Give yep. that over Times, to this yeah. person here who does that and you stay in your lane because yeah. you will get more business doing that. You know, so like where are you Where are you marketing yourself right now other than social media? Letters. Letterbox drop. Yeah, true. Yeah, we will just yep. put out a just listed letter once a week or a just sold letter once a week just to make sure frequencies there and the consi- uh, consistencies there. Yeah. That, oh, there's that guy again. There's that guy again. Oh, yep. he just done another sale. Oh, he yep. just done another listing. So yep. I would say flyer dropping, social media. I spend a lot of money on social presence, Facebook, yep. um, utilizing obviously sponsored ad, boosted ads. Nice. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Just big on social. So you're creates like, an attraction business. Do you do you put like a side lyric every time you make a commission? Do you like oh chuck twenty percent into marketing, or is it more just like as you go at the moment? It's like I'm just going to go hard and yeah. I'll, so dependent on the property. So if it's a property that the sale price is going to be much larger, where the commission check is going to be much bigger, yeah. Then I'll put a, I'll drop more money on it. So yeah. like say for example, um, I've got a property there worth one point five. Um, I might drop a boosted ad for maybe two and a half thousand. Yeah, nice. Um, or a property in a suburb, Collingwood Park, which is my core marketplace. Yeah. And it's a nice property. I might yep. drop two grand on it instead of a thousand. So yep. um, it's dependent on the property and what I'm trying to achieve um, or how much more exposure I want from that property. So if it's just a if it's a typical property in that suburb, I might drop less on it because the engagement's going to be much lower. Yep. So, but nice. yeah, it just varies. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you just, you're advertising in your own name right now. It's Moses. Yeah. You know? Like you can't get that wrong really. Yes. So you're a good guy. Thank you know, you. you've got good energy. Yeah. So if you can get over to these people's houses, you're going to get the listing. Yeah. Like you're naturally going to get it. Yeah. So, you know, you're spending all this money on yourself. Like, yes. Surely. Well, I think you have to invest in yourself and to build a name. You've got to build a brand, and to build a brand, it costs money. Yeah, got to pay to play. Definitely, <laughs> absolutely, got to pay to play. Yeah, so. you got to invest. You got yeah. to invest. The um, yeah, there's a lot of risk involved in real estate, which a lot of a lot of people don't really understand when they're outside the industry. They see, oh, like you know, you're making a big commission or whatever, yeah. but they don't realize the amount oh. of money that we have to spend, or you know, the hours that we put in. Oh. You know, like how how much are you working? Uh I'd say 16 hours a day, seven days a week the past two years, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Um, I don't, yeah, I just live and breathe it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so wake up at six, bang, on the computer for half hour, go shower, have yeah. a breaky, go for a quick run. Yeah. And then just into it. Seriously, yeah. yeah. you gotta, you got to live and breathe this game, hey. Oh, I love it. Yeah, but you got to also give yourself some time as well, you know, like you got to. Time for m- more listings, yes. I, yeah. I agree with that 100%. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was literally, I, you got a very similar sort of um, business to what I had, you know, yep. like it was like, it was all about selling. It was all yep. like, get the listings, get the listings, get the listings. Like just go home and I'd still be on the laptop and I was yep. just like, boom, 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 boom. But all of a sudden, sometimes that can catch up with you yep. and you have to be careful with that as yep. well, you know. So getting the right people in your team right now and maybe just setting up these systems behind you. So yep. it's all done. Yep. It's all there. That's the next. I think when I see you, Josh, and we've got very similar you know, journeys in real estate. Yeah. You're a couple, you, you know, you're a couple of steps ahead of me already. You know, you've got a, you've done a 
great job, created a you know incredible agency. You got a massive team. His office is massive, by the way. Um, and I think you see that as well from me. Yeah. That you were once me. Yeah. Definitely. And you can see what the next steps is going to look oh, like. Yeah. So when you talk about structuring a team, putting a process in place, I can mm. I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be my next journey. Yeah. I think for this year is trying to find a you know even keel where yeah. I don't you know go overboard or yeah. just because I'm trying to balance working the team structures with working hard and listening yeah. and selling as well. So. You're you're an attraction agent, bro. You are like the attraction agent in your area. Yep. People know who you are. Yep. They're like, that's that guy. He's from Rising Star. He's yep. the young gun. You know yep. what I mean? Like he's the guy we want to list with. Yeah. You know, so that's like you've got that now. That's what we work so hard to get. Yes. Yes. Like, so you've got that now. So now what you need is that other stuff. And your life's going to be, you're going to go. Like, it's a know? lot of pressure. Yeah. People expect big things after you win a couple of awards. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's really um, do. Yeah, like when you, but like, was, was, were you going for that rising star, or did it just happen? No. Like, it wasn't like <laughs> it pretty, probably wasn't on your thing. No, right? it was yeah. pretty funny actually, to be honest with you. Um, Brie at the time, who was my head of operations, she was like, well, "Moses, you're doing so well. Let's put you in for a few of these awards." And yeah, she just filled out a bunch of forms, and Definitely. here we are. So, no, you got it, bro. You got it. It's um, yeah, it's something that you show your kids one day. Yeah, you know, like you can look back on that and be like, "Oh." I was yeah. all right. You know, I was, I was the yeah. right agent. Yes. <laughs> I like to think so. So, but no, very grateful to have won it. Um, hard work. I think the market's helped as well. Brisbane's gone through a, yeah. we've gone through a, you know, a big, it's been a sleeping giant for a little while and we've yeah. gone through a big jump and Definitely. just worked hard through. And Absolutely. When I first met you, you wore the, that cap. Like, I, it's in the car. I was oh, going to bring it true, in. True. I was going to bring it in just for you, but- it needs to go on the wash. It is quite dirty now. So, <laughs> but do you were you wearing that cap like everywhere? Like to listing I was presentations. At a time. And, I was. Yeah, I think yeah. I went through a couple of months there where, you know, we just win after win, um, yeah. and it just the energy was awesome with it on. It's like, yeah. why are you wearing a visor? It's, it's like why not? It's memorable, definitely. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's. Um, I have to bring it back. Well, all these little points of difference, you know, make you memorable as an agent. You yeah. know, it's. Um, yeah, it's just good to have a little few things. Like when I first started, I'd like Mr. Sell license plates, you know. Oh, really? Um, still got them? Yeah, yeah, still got them. Yeah. So, you're running um, them or just Yeah, them? Mr. Sell, right? Oh, far <laughs> But you got to get noticed. Yeah. Yep. you got to get noticed, yep. you know. Like when I was like really young, like no one was putting um, videos on Facebook. Yeah. Like we weren't even using Facebook for real estate. And that's how old I am. Oh, you man. know, the, uh, it's I was come just like, a long oh, way. I'll, just, I'll just put my listing up there. I just want yep. to let my mates know I've got houses and stuff, you know. <laughs> I'd be out on like a Saturday night and they'd be like, it's in the house you got, Josh? And I'd be like, fair enough. You know, it's working, you know. Just play that long game. Josh, I it? saw that house. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. But you've got that, um, you, you, you've got that noticing thing, you know. Like yes. they're, they're, that's memorable, like yep. having the cap, you know, like just little stuff like that. How easy was it to get uh, those plates? Uh, well, it was easy because um, I were brought a guy that I knew. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. But um, yeah, again, that like it is an added sense of pressure when you start to like shout out that you know you're the man. You yep. know, like yep. same Mister Sell, like that's like a bit of a egoy type of thing. It's like, no, well, you're, I don't you're, think you're, it is. At the end of the day, a lot of people will talk about ego and real estate, and you're cocky and you're arrogant. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you love what you do, you're good at what you do. Yeah, right. And you want to let the world know, you let them know. Yeah. It's so, the way they see it. If they see it as egotistical or arrogance yeah. or cockiness, that's unfortunate. You need a bit them. of that though, I think, at the start. It's like a fine coming, line. Yeah, when yeah. you're coming through, like you need a bit of that because like it's pretty risky. What? You know, like start putting yourself out there. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, and you're that's what you're doing. You're like, well, this is me. Yeah. I'm putting myself out there. Like it or not, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> is that how you like? Is that, is that yeah. your, well, your vibe? Is that like, whatever? Yeah. It's, it's me. You kind of have to be because if you're just if the way you brand and market yourself is true to who you are, yeah, you're not changing anything when you meet them. You're not yep. changing anything when you run into them. Like yep. that's who he is. Yeah, you know that's Definitely. how he, that he just puts up. You know, social media posts or videos, or and that's a reflection or an extension of who he is. Yeah, online. Yeah. So when they meet you in person, it all connects. Yeah. So it's awesome. Yeah. That's so good, bro. Yeah, you're you're an easy guy to talk to. Like I was in here. Um, chatting to someone and, and you were out there just getting to know all the agents. Yeah, man. So well, you're just naturally. All cool. Yeah, so you just naturally, that's what you're like as Why a person. Not? Yeah. Absolutely. Ah, I love that, bro. Love I enjoy, that. I enjoy like when you, when you run into people, when you cross paths or you're in an elevator. Yeah. Like it's, we live in a world where it's like, 
why not have a conversation? Yeah, nice. You know? Nice. Have you got a big family? Uh, no. Yeah? My parents do. Yeah, yeah. Dad's got 13 brothers and sisters. Mum's got 11, um, two sisters. One's a lawyer, one's a psychologist. So if I have a mental breakdown from all the pressure and stress, I'm all right. If yeah. I get sued, I should be all right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm covered on both bases. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah. That's so. awesome. So yeah, you got a close family there. That's Love good. Love the parents. Got all, mate, look, there you go. Yeah. Spot on. That's the folks there. That's yeah. at their favourite restaurant. Do love them. Uh, it's They're so good important. sorts. Yeah. Yeah, I've got- um, Humble beginnings. I've got my dad that works here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he works here. My mum, she does um, a lot of stuff behind the scenes, like, you know, like helps me with um, like gifts and I didn't know and that. All that. So got a proper family business. Are they brother. out there now? Uh, my dad will be, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'll have to go meet him after Absolutely. this. Absolutely, yeah. You're proud of your son? Look at what Josh has created. It's incredible. It's um, it's like the, what we've all created, you know. Wow. Like it's, um, yeah, this is a big team thing. Like I'm, yep. you know. I'm I'm out the front, you know the, you know trying to get front noticed end. sort yep. of thing. So yep. I've probably got the worst end of the straw, you know, <laughs> <laughs> worst end of the stick, whatever you want to call it. Hey, it's Mister um, Cell. If you do see him, yeah. make sure you say good day. But no, it's um, it's good to get like someone like yourself on because um, yeah, you know, be yourself, agents, you know. Yeah, like that's one hundred percent. Be yourself. Like yeah. if you try and create an agenda, you're gonna screw it up, yeah. right? If if you're trying to get opportunities and you're being yourself online and it reflects on and you get an opportunity when they meet you in person, it's like, oh, that's who he was. Yeah. You know, man. Seriously. You've seriously. got to be yourself. And you can tell when someone's not being themselves on 100%. camera hey, and you're like, oh, 100%. this guy's just so awkward. You know? 100%. Like, yeah, people sell people at the end yeah. of the day. So if on social media or on your online presence is who you are and you're showing a bit of your personality yeah. or a bit of home life or a bit of personal life, they – you're human. And that's yep. what I say to some of my guys on my team is make sure you be human yep. and you, you connect with them on a respect level, yep. on a morals level, uh, on a compassion level, yep. you know, on an understanding level, on yep. a circumstantial level. So it's beyond the sale. Nice. When you build these relationships, you've got to understand like we're helping them tran transact onto the next chapter of their lives and you yep. want to make it as easy as possible for them. Yeah. But at the same token, make it enjoyable yep. and fun. That's it, bro. That's so, it. You know what I'd do if I was you? What would, what would you um, do? I would. What would Josh do? I would to get a <laughs> um, like a young up and coming videographer. Okay. Um, to be with you for like a day or okay. two a week. Yeah. And just pay them okay. for the for the day. And so, but in that day, you want three videos. You want four videos. Um, Far out. And they follow you for that those two days. Okay. And it's vloggy, yep. but you can also be like educational. Okay. You could also be a bit of fun. Yeah. But now you've got like this professional content going out as well. Yeah. Um, Tamara, who came in just before you, she had her videographer here. Yeah. This is marketing game that we're in right now. Oh. So, you know, and if you can have that, like I, I think that would help your business explode as well because you, um, I said it to Paddy Ivy the other day, like yeah. he, he's so good on camera. You're so good on camera. Need to get you on camera more. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same with an iPhone. Hey, hey, mate, you grab a phone. Like you, you have that too. You yes. Know? Like you've got to have your mixture, yep. I reckon. Yep. But yep. I think that um, that would be, a, a, you could blow up. You know, especially if you give that to the right digital marketer as well. And then, yep. then you start to like just saturate your market with like, it just doesn't have to all be real estate yeah. you yep. know, like it yep. can be like lifey, it can be whatever, you yep. know. All right, so next next month, guys, there's going to be some professional content coming. Oh, I love it, bro. Love Proudly it. brought to you by Mr. Sell himself. <laughs> uh, uh, legend. No, I really appreciate you coming in today. I think that, um, yeah, people will enjoy watching your business grow. Thank you. Um, and pleasure. Yeah, follow Moses because yeah, he offers a lot of value there. But, you know, be yourself, agents. Be hey? yourself. At the end of the day, people sell with people. If you know what you're doing, you'll be fine. Joshi, thank Pleasure. you so much. You. Appreciate you. Peace out.